Hi, my name is Blash and I'm product manager in Metril. Today I'm going to show you how to correctly test a class 1 appliance, which is in our case a 110 volts cable reel equipped with multiple socket outlets using the MI3360 OmegaPad XA, an appliance tester from Metrel. The MI3360 is a mains operated test instrument packed in a robust case and equipped with a color touch screen which makes it very robust yet still easy to use. The instrument also has large memory capacity, it has 8 GB replaceable micro SD card which is useful for long term saving and archiving of data. For more information about MI3360 click on the link below. So for today's presentation, we are going to be using our test instrument plus two additional extension lead adapters, which will enable us to connect this 110 volt cable reel between appropriate test terminals, in our case test terminals for IC leads or extension cable testing. We will also use these two small gadgets, which are the Bluetooth battery operated uh, label printer and Bluetooth battery operated QR barcode scanner. If we want to fully examine and test a cable reel with multiple socket outlets, we need an appliance tester that can perform a multiple point testing, as uh, all the socket outlets must be tested. In our case, the measurements that are going to be performed are continuity of protective earth, insulation resistance test and polarity test. For continuity of protective earth and polarity test, it is crucial that are performed on all socket outlets. The insulation resistant test, however, can be carried out on a random socket outlet once as all critical elements are evaluated equally, regardless to which socket outlet the return test lead is connected to. Each examination of electrical equipment must consist of thorough visual inspection which is in some cases even the only applicable test option. Because we are testing a cable on a reel, we would have to unwind it completely and visually examine it throughout the whole length as some damages can't be found performing electrical tests but can, can be found with visual inspection. Well, for this video we will make a small exception and we will simply prete pretend that this first part has been carried out accordingly. So before we start testing, we will first connect everything accordingly, then se select the appropriate test sequence for this type of electrical equipment, adjust limits if needed, and only then start with actual electrical testing. We take these uh, two adapter, adapter leads and connect them to the test instrument. So one part to the main socket and the other one to the IC port. And now we simply connect both parts of the adapter to the extension lead. Uh, so this uh, first part is now finished and we can proceed with testing. First we enter auto sequence menu and choose correct test sequence. We will select it from the group general which is designed based on the information provided in the 5th edition code of practice for in-service inspection and testing of electrical equipment. Inside we search for group ISC extension leads from where we will select a test sequence dedicated to the extension leads with long cords and no additional RCD protection. Once the correct test sequence is selected, a few additional options are displayed on the screen. On the top we see option to start the sequence, the option to view the details of the test sequence where we can adjust the sequence parameters or enable multiple point testing and uh, last one is configurator which serves for setting additional configurable limits or parameters of specific single test and inside the test sequence if uh, this is supported. So let me first check the option configurator where we can find the feature limit calculator. 
Limit calculator feature was actually designed and integrated to help us define a correct high limit based on the length and the cross section of uh, connection cable uh, of connection cable. This function brings the most benefit when testing uh, lots of different extension leads or other appliances equipped with uh, long uh, cords of different lengths. Today we will simply stay with the predefined limits of our test sequence, so we simply return one step back and uh, enter the menu view. Uh, the menu view where we can uh, check all preset parameters and uh, set for multiple point testing. So perhaps once again a few words about why multiple point testing. Uh, if the device under test, for example like this one here, has more than one test point for an individual single test and the selected auto sequence predicts only one test point, it is possible to change the auto sequence parameters on the fly. So single tests with enable multiple points ticker will be then executed in a continuous loop until we decide to um, manually finish it uh, by ending the loop. As mentioned at the beginning of today's presentation, we need to choose option of uh, multiple point testing for earth continuity uh, for earth continuity test and uh, polarity test. If adjustment of data parameters within the test sequence is needed, then now is the appropriate time for this. Uh, if not, uh, we can simply start uh, our part of uh, electrical examination by pressing start. So after we select start, we can confirm the results of our visual examination, which will be printed on the test report alongside to the other measure data and proceed with earth continuity test. After the first uh, earth continuity test is finished, we reconnect uh, the test lead to second socket outlet and proceed with the next test. Wait until the test is finished and uh, end the first loop. Uh, the instrument starts with the insulation resistance test following a polarity test, which we again perform on both test sockets. After the first test is finished, we simply reconnect the test lead to our first test socket execute another polarity test and finish the complete test sequence. After the test sequence is uh, finished, all we have to do is uh, save our measuring results for post-processing or issuing professional test reports. So we select save results where we will enter test, tested appliance parameters, such as uh, ID number, uh, name of the appliance, test date, and retest period. We can also add uh, many other parameters if we decide to select different type of uh, structure element. All the parameters can be added manually or using uh, uh, additional optional uh, barcode reader. Um, and for uh, adding the appliance ID number, in our case, we will use this uh, battery operated QR barcode scanner and simply scan the original ID number of the appliance. So we now see that the ID number was uh, transferred automatically with a barcode scanner. So we press create and save. So all we have to do now is to print out a new label with the use of this uh, barcode printer. So we select print, we have a QR, one tag, and 
just wait a few seconds until the new coat is printed, which we will then attach to this uh, cable reel as a refer reference for the next uh, uh, testing procedure. So this is how we have to test a cable on reel. Well, that's all for today. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. I'll see you next time.